Welcome to this step-by-step -step guide on how to enable and harness the power of Salesforce Revenue Insights. In this video, we'll show you how to set it up and explore the incredible use cases for driving growth in your business. Meet the Acme Technologies sales team. They're about to discover how Revenue Insights can transform their sales strategy. Let's dive right in. They agree that the Revenue Insights dashboard makes the most sense for them to review. Here, they can instantly access critical metrics like revenue growth, sales pipeline, and customer acquisition cost. Let's dive in further. On this dashboard, you will first see an overview that measures team quota attainment. Whether your team is off or on track to meet your quota, and important metrics like GA app to quota, committed forecast, closed one and pipeline coverage. As you scroll down here, you will start to see areas that your sales team should focus on, like opportunities needing my attention, including those that have no activity, no next step, or are stuck in a particular stage. We'll also see opportunity changes from amount, close date, forecast category, new and lost, and also a list of top open opportunities in the comment category, most likely, best case, and pipeline. The last section below will give you an indication on how your sales performance is trending, doing a period over period comparison of the current period for the same time last year. Here we can see metrics like one opportunities, average sales size, average days to close and win rate. Meet Emily, the sales manager at Acme Technologies. She uses revenue insights to analyze sales trends. With interactive graphs, she can spot trends and understand which products or services are performing best. And here's Sarah, the CEO. She sets revenue targets using predictive analytics. Revenue Insights suggests realistic targets based on historical data, helping her align the team with business goals. Now, let's dive into how to set up Revenue Insights in a few quick steps. First, ensure CRM Analytics is enabled. To do this, click Setup. Type in Analytics. Go to Getting Started. Click on Enable CRM Analytics. This will turn into Launch CRM Analytics once it's complete. Before going into setup, let's review a few pre-installation steps. Make sure data sync or direct data is enabled. You can find the instructions on how to do this by clicking this link. Your org must have at least one record from each of these objects. Account, opportunity, user, user role, task, events. Role hierarchy must have at least two layers. For example, you have one sales manager and one sales rep. Now that we have reviewed the use cases, Let's show you how you can get Revenue Insights up and running in a few quick steps. In the Setup menu, type Revenue Insights in the Quick Find box and select Revenue Insights. You will be directed to the Revenue Insights Setup Assistant. This will list the requirements in order to set up Revenue Intelligence. First, you want to set up historical trending for opportunities. Next, you will want to make sure at least one person has been assigned the Revenue Intelligence Admin Permission Set. From there, you want to ensure that CRM analytics has been enabled. Lastly, you will need to have your role hierarchy set up to at least two levels. An optional but recommended step is to configure collaborative forecasts for your org. Here you can read some of the requirements for the types of forecasts that are supported in Revenue Insights. You will also want to set up historical trending on the forecasting item, as well as configure the forecast hierarchy for at least two levels. Once complete, you will then be able to turn on Revenue Insights by toggling this to on. Other optional steps include assigning the Revenue Intelligence permission set to those who just need view access to the dashboards. Lastly, you can also set up a pipeline inspection as well as create custom Revenue Insights dashboards. The first step will be to grant the proper access to users and admins. Assign these configurations to specific permission sets that determine who can access Revenue Insights. To set up Revenue Insights, first make sure you're assigned the Revenue Intelligence Admin Permission Set. From Wizard, we will go to the section to give users access to Revenue Insights. Then click on Assign Permissions that for the Admin Permission Set. Click on Manage Assignments. For Manage Assignments, we will type in our name. Find your user record, hit the checkbox next to it, and then say Next. When you're ready, hit Assign. Once the Admin Permission Set is set, find the Revenue Intelligence User Permission Set. Go back to the Revenue Insights Setup Assistant, click Assign Revenue Intelligence User Permission Set, and Assign Permission Set. Complete the same process here. Go to Manage Assignments, 
Add Assignments, select the users that we want to add the assignments to say next. These will be users who only need read access to your dashboards and will not have any editing capabilities. Your admins will have your full suite of capabilities and analytics. Once these users are selected, click Assign. A part of the setup of Revenue Intelligence is setting up the role hierarchy. Be sure to create a role hierarchy to define your sales teams and the data each role can access. Role hierarchies determine whether users have access to records they don't own, including records to which they don't have sharing access, but someone below them in the hierarchy does. Please note that you must have at least two layers to the role hierarchy, for example, a sales manager and a sales rep. To set up role hierarchy, go to in Salesforce Setup, click on Roles and go to Setup Roles. You will want to make sure you have two layers to the hierarchy. CEO, Vice Presidents. An optional but recommended step is to configure collaborative forecasts. A forecast is an expression of expected sales based on the gross roll-up of a set of opportunities. The forecasts on the forecast page are totals and subtotals of the opportunities in the four forecast categories. Pipeline, Best Case, Commit, and Closed. Forecasts can include adjustments made by forecast managers to their immediate subordinates' forecasts and adjustments made by users to their own forecasts. To set up collaborative forecasts, go to Setup Forecasts, Forecasts, Settings. Create a forecast type based on a Salesforce object. Keep in mind, Revenue Intelligence only supports certain objects primarily based on opportunity, opportunity product, and opportunity split. In this example, we will select opportunity as our object. Specify a measure. We will select amount. Select a data type. We will select close date. Next, select a role hierarchy. Please note, Revenue Intelligence does not support territory hierarchy at the moment. Next, we can add optional filters to specify specific data points we want to see and field criteria. Name the forecast. Click Save. A few post-installation steps to make sure you have a successful launch. Schedule the app. Select a time outside normal work hours so the data refresh doesn't interrupt business activities. Add revenue insights to your navigation bar to make it easy to view your insights. Verify your permission settings. Add additional filters to your dashboards. Instructions on these post-installation steps can be found here. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Salesforce Revenue Insights. For more detailed information and comprehensive documentation, please visit us at help.salesforce.com or join the vibrant Salesforce Trailblazer community at trailblazer.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.